everyone, my name is Ashley. I'm the Archivist Reference and Outreach Coordinator at Concord Public Library. We as a staff wanted to share some of the things we've been reading, watching, and listening to during our quarantine, since we aren't there to give you suggestions ourselves. I've been reading The Female Persuasion uh, by Meg Wolitzer. She's a New York Times bestselling author, um, and the book is about becoming who you really want to be. Since I really love American history, I've been listening to two audiobooks. Um, one is Grant by Ron Chernow, and the other is Killers of the Flower Moon by David Gran. I've also been watching a television series on Netflix. Uh, it's called Peaky Blinders, and we do have seasons one and two available at the library on DVD. I hope you enjoy the suggestions from me and the rest of our staff. Hey folks, this is Aiden, one of your Concord Library pages, and back there is Lulu, and we hope everyone is staying safe and getting some good media recommendations to help them pass the time by. On Hoopla, I just finished the audio edition of Norse Mythology, which is a collection of classic Norse myths retold and actually narrated by Master Neil Gaiman. If you love Thor and Loki from Marvel Comics, you would love to hear the stories that they came from, including how all of the gods convinced Thor to dress up like a bride and get married to a giant uh, so that they could get his hammer back. My wife and I have also been taking turns reading to each other uh, The Toll by one of our favorite authors, Neil Schusterman. Uh, it's the finale to his Ark of the Scythe series. It takes place in a future where no one has to die, a supercomputer takes care of everyone's needs, but an order of real-life Grim Reapers, known as Scythes, must take lives in order to keep the population under control. I hope any of our recommendations help you get through these hard times and know that everyone on the CPL staff is here for you. Be well. Hi, I'm Laura, and I've been reading a few things recently. First is Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. It's a short novella about of family's two-week vacation where they reenact and reimagine what it would be like to live during the Iron Age. It's available as an ebook and e-audiobook through Hoopla and Libby. Second is The Lost Children Archive by Valeria Luiselli. This book is a multi-layered narrative about immigration, family, justice, and storytelling, and then in the end, hope. It's also available on Libby as an ebook and e audiobook. Lastly, I've just started Fiebre Tropical by Juliana Delgado Lopera, and it's a multilingual novel that follows a Colombian teenager's coming of age and coming out as her family adjusts to having just moved to the US, and so far I like it. Hi, everybody. My name is Jennifer Stevens, and I'm a library technician at both the main branch and the Heights branch of Concord Public Library. I love to travel, but while under quarantine, my dreaming and planning will have to do. So I've been thumbing through Folders in Focus, Savannah, as well as The Lonely Planets, Georgia and the Carolinas, planning my trip and hoping to get down south soon. I've also been reading Habits of a Happy Brain, by Dr. Bruning. This is a great book for all us nonfiction lovers. As far as television, I've been watching a series called The Americans. It's set in the Reagan administration and follows two KGB spies who are posing as, a, as married Americans with two children. It's truly binge-worthy. I think you'll like it. Well, I hope my suggestions were helpful and I hope to see you all soon. Stay well.